in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen send forth thy spirit and they shall be created and there thou shalt renew the face of the earth let us pray o god who listens the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the holy spirit grant us by the same spirit to have right judgment in all things and ever more to rejoice in his holy comfort through christ our lord amen an act of contrition my god i believe in thee i hope in thee i love thee above all things with all my soul with all my heart and with all my strength i love thee because thou art infinitely good and worthy of being loved and because i love thee i repent with all my heart of having offended thee have mercy on me a sinner amen for the intentions of the holy father our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus holy mary mother of god pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen in vocations to our lady we fly to the patronage holy mother of god despise not our petitions in our necessities but ever deliver us from all dangers o glorious and blessed virgin amen o mother of perpetual succor thou whose very name inspires confidence help me o loving mother that i may love and serve god with all my heart help me o loving mother that i may never neglect prayer help me o loving mother in temptations against the holy virtue of purity help me o loving mother that i may quickly rise again should i have the misfortune to fall into sin help me o loving mother that i may labor zealously to get rid of my sinful habits help me o loving mother that i may courage this resist the seductions of the world evil companions bad books and films help me o loving mother that i may often and devoutly receive the sacraments and fulfill my christian duties and the duties of my state help me o loving mother that i may be patient and resigned in all trials and troubles of life help me o loving mother in sickness and pain in poverty and distress help me o loving mother that i may not delay my conversion from day to day help me o loving mother that i may ever love and serve thee and invoke thy assistance help me o loving mother that i may be able to lead others to love serve and pray to thee help me o loving mother when death is near and i am about to pass into eternity help me o loving mother to my last hour to my last breath do thou watch over me help me o loving mother pray for us o mother of perpetual succor that we may be the worthy the promises of christ let us pray almighty and merciful god who in order to assist the human race has willed the blessed virgin mary to become the mother of thy only begotten son grant we beseech thee that by her intercession we may avoid the contagion of sin and serve thee with a pure heart to the same christ our lord amen thanksgiving and petitions thanksgiving for the gift of a child finding a suitable job after many months for a good life partner for a successful open heart surgery for cure from covid-19 for a family of four for a visa for going abroad for success in uniting a family who was separated during the lockdown for gift of speech after 5 years for being saved from paralytic stroke for cure from leg ulcer from good health and clear reports of 18 months baby petitions gift of a child 
for a resident visa in Canada, for a quick cure from eczema, for recovery of loan given to some party, for peace at home, for reconciliation in the family, for a visa to migrate to Australia, for a job on the cruise liner, for getting job back in Dubai after nine months, for a person who is mentally disturbed, for a person who is having financial problems, for obtaining flying license and job, not received salary for 20 months, a safe return to India during the lockdown, for 11-month-old baby who is a non-ventilator, cure from knee pain and arthritis, cure from lung cancer, for a safe trip and negative PCR report, cure from COVID-19. We also pray for many people who are suffering from chest congestions. In this pandemic, we have got a number of instances where people have asked us to pray, especially those who are having problems with the lungs, no oxygen at this moment of time. We pray that the Lord may keep all of them safe and may they enjoy the presence of the Lord. May the families be blessed. May all our families all over the world, through the intercession of Mother Mary of Perpetual Sakha, may receive the blessings and may they encounter the peace and joy of the Lord. Love in our prayers. O Mother of Perpetual Sakha, behold me a miserable sinner at thy feet. I have recourse to thee and put my trust in thee. O Mother of Mercy, have pity upon me. I hear thee call by all the refuge and hope of sinners. Be then my refuge and my hope. Succor me for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch forth thy hand to me, a poor sinner, who recommend and dedicate myself to thee as thy perpetual servant. I bless and thank God for having in his mercy given me this confidence in thee, the pledge, as I believe, of my eternal salvation. Alas, too often in past times have I miserably fallen because I had not recourse to thee. I know that with thy help I shall conquer. I know that thou wilt help me if I recommend myself to thee. But I fear lest in the occasion of falling I should cease to call upon thee and so should lose my soul. This then is the grace I seek from thee. And I beg of thee, as far as I know how and can, to obtain it from me, namely in the assaults of hell. Always to have recourse to thee and say to thee, O Mary, help me, mother of perpetual succor, suffer me not to lose my God. Amen. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mother of perpetual succor, pray for thy children. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Holy Mary, succor the miserable, help the faint-hearted, cheer those that weep, pray for the people, be the advocate of the clergy, intercede for all devout women, let all feel thy aid who implore thy perpetual succor. Thou hast been made for us, O Lady, a refuge, a helper in need and tribulation. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us the Mother Mary, whose wondrous image we venerate to be our mother, ever ready to succor us, grant we beseech thee that we who earnestly implore her maternal aid may deserve to enjoy perpetually the fruit of their redemption, who lives and reigns, world without end. Amen. Over 
The 1st of May, we celebrated the Workers' Day. As we look at the plight of workers today, my dear friends, we see that today there is a big problem of jobs. Many, many people are jobless in this pandemic. Those who are working find it so difficult to commute in this lockdown period. People are wanting to go back to work. There is no work available. Many people say, well, I'm working from home. And here also we find that the working hours at home are not limited. A person can begin as early in the morning and may I have to continue late in the night. There are no proper timings and they sometimes feel it was better that we had to go to a place of work. Though it was rush hours, commuting was difficult, but we were sure that we would wind up our work at a particular time. Now working for home means I have to be available 24 hours. So difficult, especially more and more difficulties have come during these pandemic times. If you ask employers, they say, we have also no work to give. We are also facing problems. We have our own set of difficulties. Way back in the 19th century, my dear friends, in 1886, there arose a similar problem, where there was an exploitation of labor. People were told to work for hours and hours, 60 hours a week, 70 hours a week. And the employers would exploit every worker. And therefore, there was a moment that picked up in the 19th century where people began to say, we want only eight hours of work. Let our hours of work be limited. We can give our best during these eight hours. But when you make us to work and slog for 12 hours, it so becomes so difficult. Our efficacy, efficiency of work diminishes. And her health goes down. And therefore, there was a campaign that was going on for eight hours of work. In the year 1886, there was an incident that took place in Chicago where people were protesting peacefully. Then there was a fire police firing, the person was injured, and later on again to protest what has happened, they had in Chicago itself a demonstration. The speakers came spoke about eight hours of work, the atrocities, the problems of the workers. Unfortunately, at this particular incident, on that particular day, someone exploded a bomb at 10.30 in the night, which injured many policemen were also killed. And this gave rise to what is called as a difficult situation People ran away from the site. The police shot at some people. They were killed. Some were caught, put into prison. And the whole question was, who was the one who exploded the bomb? There were culprits who were put behind bars. Some said they were not the real culprits. We do not know. But what was the whole aim was to disturb a momentum that was building up. Building up of the workers' solidarity, union of all workers all over the world. And that particular momentum that took place, people thought that after this incident would go and die. But this did not happen. 
continuously protests went on in different sections of us and other parts of europe too the people began to demand eight hours of work eight hours of sleep and eight hours to do what we think is right and good and leisure for us we would think we would use them for our personal growth so this was a particular demand that went through and slowly therefore on 1st of may in 1819 the first labor day workers day was celebrated which would consider the rights of the worker therefore the demand of the rights of the workers became more and more strong simple demands eight hours of work eight hours of sleep and eight hours to do things what one feels he can, or she can do these my dear friends with the situation at that time today we have a different sort of situation in the year 2020 the safety of the workers was emphasized during this pandemic the celebrations were very softened and there was no particular theme but the workers rights they are for the safety for their protection was emphasized why is it so because you find if there is no work then there is no progress if there is no job then there will be starvation if person stops working then the family will be at loss during this pandemic you have seen we have seen that heads of the family have lost their jobs the heads of the family have died the children today are starving they are orphaned and this is what we have seen in the second wave in india particularly we have realized that so many people have died previously the death seems very far from us now we find it's happening in our homes it's happening in a neighborhood it's happening in the next building and there's a sense of fear how much of work can we do what can we do really how can we combat against this virus a sense of fear and the only one way to increase our the confidence in people is to say we can do things together alone one person may not be able to change the situation but when each one of us as workers contribute ourselves then things might change if we want production to increase then there should be a union between the employer and the employee there should be a common understanding because the goal is important if all of us work towards the building of the nation when not only the employer and the employee come together but even the government plans things that every person once is finishes his graduation or so is able to find the job that he needs and able to find joy of his jobs and able to find job of his own will what is interested can we do that it's a difficult possibly right now but it could be if all of us really put our heads down and say this is what our plan would be can i say to myself well now the graduates are having the exams online possibly and after they are passed what will they do thousands and thousands of young people who are eager to work now will be on the field and what opportunities will i give them or what opportunities they have it's very disgusting to see the labor scenario today and that's why my dear friends when we celebrate this feast on the may 1st we also think of our patron saint joseph the carpenter the carpenter who used his skills 
in order to transform the society. Our job is to transform the society to the work that we do. However small that work could be, even if I'm working at home, even if I'm not employed, but I am a person who's a homemaker, I can still transform the society because I am called uh, through my work that I do at home. If I give my best, I'm able to give my best to the children. I'm able to give best to those around me. I'm able to reach out to those in my own vicinity. If this is what we can think of, definitely things would be different. If each one of us becomes selfish, I want me and my family to get the job, things will not work. We have to think of a larger opportunities for our children. Our children should be given a vision where they have to move towards. If they have no vision in mind, then things would not really work. And therefore, my dear friends, today we pray very earnestly to Mother Mary that all of us may put our heads together and see at the future generation to look at the youth in particularly and to see how we can give them confidence, how we can give them the grace that they need through our prayer, prayerful support, how we can really increase in them the capacity to think out of the box so that we may be able to build up a nation where everyone is gainfully employed. Let us pray in a special way at this Navina that all our workers may experience the hand of God, that all our workers may be gainfully employed, that all our workers may not think of their own work, but also think of the work of others. May all of us as one community, as children of God, combine ourselves together, the employer and the employee, put together their own mind into this and say, in this year, we shall make sure that every person is gainfully employed. Amen. Remember, O oh most, most gracious, gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled thy protection, implored thy help, or saw thy intercession was left unaided. In spite with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O oh virgins of virgins, my mother. To thee I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O oh mother of the world incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me. Amen. Prayer before the Blessed Sacrament. Merciful Lord, whose mercies are without number and whose goodness is without end, you abide with your people in wondrous manner and are with us all the days, even to the end of time. By your kind presence, direct our minds. With your guiding love, watch over our paths. With a powerful help, deliver us from every tribulation, from all danger and sin that we may on earth always live with you and in you and in your eternal dwelling. Enjoy your presence forever. Amen. Blessing of the sick, our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come unto thee. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray. Grant we beseech thee, O Lord God, that these servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body. And by the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, be delivered from present sorrow and enjoy eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ be amongst you to defend you, within you to preserve you, before you to guide you, after you to guard you, above you to bless you, 
who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Through the intercession of Mother of Perpetual Succor, may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Mary from the secret image with those eyes so sadly sweet Mother of perpetual succor see us kneeling So full the joy and woe What thy bliss, how deep thy sorrows Mother, thou alone canst know Let us bow in adoration pray. O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you left us the memorial of your passion. Grant that we may so reverence the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that the taste of the fruit of your redemption may ever be within us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The divine praises, blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man, blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy, blessed be a holy and immaculate conception, Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, a most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Mother, dearest, mother, fairest, help of all who call on thee. Virgin, purest, 
brightest rarest. Help us, help we cry to Thee. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help in pain and sorrow. Soothe those racked on bed of pain. May the golden light of morrow bring them health and joy again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help our priests, our sisters, lowly. Help our Pope, long may he reign. Pray that we who sing their praises may in heaven all meet again. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help the absent loved ones. How we miss their presence here. May the hand of thy protection guard and guide them far and near. Mary, help us, help we pray. Mary, help us, help we pray. Help us in all care and sorrow. Mary, help us, help we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.